hello everyone in this video i will share a uh, three years experience of nh200 so this is my own bike and i bought this bike in 2019 on 17 august and i cover almost a uh, 53000 a kilometer let me see yes it's a 53340 kilometer so like in this bike I did commute I used it for uh, you know long drive so I have a lot of experience with this bike so first let's start from uh, the front side of this bike so let's go to the front side of this bike yeah so if I show you that the front side it will change if you check uh, the indicator I change the indicator uh, not because the previous one was damaged i just changed for a little update that's why and this is rs200 indicator this is a very good indica indicator you can use it and I also i changed the hill light and this is the you know night eye hill light a very good hill light but uh, i just changed for an update just remember that and i also changed the you know the fog light okay so that's it uh, i change for an update like the previous one was a uh, good but still i need you know white kind of led light so that's why i change and second thing is i uh, change the you know the the rear suspension the soccer you can say i change after uh, fifty thousand kilometer but before that uh, the previous one was damaged but I tried to repair it but it's not work out properly and after 50,000 I changed this sucker and uh, I also changed uh, the chain pocket twice so first I changed after 20,000 kilometer the stock like damage after 20,000 kilometer and then i used cold brass roll on chain and then now after 50000 kilometer i using again the roll on you know standard chain sprocket but let's talk about the engine the engine was a pretty good it's not too bad and it's a punchy it's a, uh, not too much refined but it's a refined engine but when you service your bike uh, like after change the engine oil and after change uh, the oil filter and everything you can feel uh, the refined thing like after uh, 1000 kilometer uh, it will give you a little bit vibration uh, as you can see on the rear side i also changed the the two leds and i also changed the tires because the torx tire is what's not good so i'm using apollo s1 140 by 60 as you can see here 140 by 60 it's a very good tire you can uh, just lean on it i mean it's a very good for cornering and all this thing and brake also working very fine i also changed the phone tire after uh, 40 000 kilometer nothing uh, but this is the mrf 40 mrf phone tire and I also changed this uh, the sensor this is the ABS sensor so it was damaged after like 30,000 kilometer and I changed uh, the spark plug I'm using Erian spark plug not because the stock was bad but if you're using uh, the Erian spark plug you will feel the power okay and the refinement also and i also changed the coolant twice in this three year and oh, let me see if i miss anything uh, nothing else i think yeah don't talk about like brake pads because you know brake pad can damage easily it's depend how you riding your bike and uh, but everything else is this bike is fine i mean i don't have to change uh, the font sprocket 
sponge pocket is still working so after 40000 km i heard you know some uh, knock from the engine and i went to the showroom bajaj showroom and they just opened the engine and saw that the crankshaft was broken i don't know how it was damaged but uh, they also don't know how, how it damaged i mean how uh, we can uh, prevent in a future but still you know uh, they are saying that i ride 40000 km so this is a common so i guess uh, so this is a common thing and i was i also change the clutch plates and everything i spent 8000 rupee for this engine but now it's working fine it's uh, feel like a new engine right now because like everything is changed so now it's it's a good and the brake and everything i think is a uh, good and it's a value for money for that so you cannot blame on it right because you are paying not too high so you cannot expect a high quality engine and a high quality braking system and everything you are paying and you are getting a you know a standard quality a bike so well, that's it and uh, nothing you know you cannot uh feel like that this is the you know the most premium bike and also you cannot feel that you are using a cheap bike so that's it i think that will help you to buy an s200 and thank you guys thanks for watching have bye